Made in Abyss, Season 2, Episode 9. Uh, I, I don't remember very what it was called. Did it even show us what... Oh yeah, The Return, I think, is what this episode is called. It's going to be the return of Reg and Faputa to the village. And maybe Fa um, how would Reg get Faputa's arm, or one of her arms, into the village? I think he's going to have to figure out how to get the arm back in to save Nenichi, and that is how... She's gonna. He's then. She's gonna figure out. Okay, this is what I need to do to get into the village to destroy it, to free my mother. Uh, because you know her mother Ijimaru is basically the village. That's what she is, and I think the whole point is to destroy that hanging thing that I think is the heart. That is what I think is gonna be the thing to destroy. Like all these bugs are going into her wound. Yeah, this is more than snap. Oh god. Maybe on the other side, Reg? Okay, there we go. Like, you are causing disturbance. But I wonder, where did she meet that robot? The... Was that? Get in, Rico. Rico, get your fucking ass in there. Alright, there we go. Oh, she saw. Okay. So has she met Prushke? Because I think that is what she means. Like, ah, oh, you look very nice now. So I assume she's met... Obviously she's met Prushka. She She's the one who stole Prushka. Alright, yeah, yeah. I'm stupid. I thought before she became a whistle, but no. That is obviously about when she first took Prushka. Uh, let's skip the opening. Uh. <coughs> yeah. Uh. 
I mean, because the balancing is Ijimaru. What do you mean he wouldn't be able to withstand it? And I thought that I gave it to me. He's like, I I'm not gonna tell you. He's like... <coughs> okay. <coughs> um, it seems like Ma wants to say something. Ma... Yeah. I mean, I think he already knows you're there, Vieco. It can be used at anything you want. Yeah, like, I don't know you, so... <coughs> they wanted adventure. Yeah, we were going on a one-way trip. So have you met her mom before or did the mom maybe not go into this village? Okay, so maybe what is going to happen? Okay. Is that your true wish? <laughs> Only 150? Maybe 150 for you people down here, because time works different.
maybe. But <coughs> Yeah, he's like, I'm not the one making the choice. It's them. Like how Ijimaru made that choice. I didn't make it for her. She did it herself. Okay, so they didn't know. They don't know what they're saying. Wait, what? So they're saying that Wak Wak Wakashika, the prophet, was just buying time for this guy. Is that what they're saying? I don't know what's happening. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's... Okay. Well, it used to. So it's part of Irumiyamu, I guess. I don't get what's happening. <laughs> I'm like confused. Even because all this backstory we get. I don't get how we got here to this point, um, so I guess I'm just in for the ride. <coughs> I thought this guy was the big guy who was with them during the journey, you know? Uh, the guy who caught, you know, the child who went up uh, when they first learned about the curse. I thought that was the guy. But no, it's not. This is this. Ijimaru's basically thoughts of her feelings of that guy. So like uh, yeah.
It's kind of like, why did he become the guardian of the village? Why... Why would Iriyamu do this? Good job, Ma. Fight them off. Well, Reg, you fucked up. You're not all alone. Ah, there's gonna be someone behind him. He's in there. Yeah, there's gonna be someone behind him. Reg wouldn't say that if there wasn't. Is it gonna be Faputa? Are you gonna hit Faputa? Or, other than this guy, who are you killing, Rug? Get the arm, good. Are you really going to give that up? <laughs> okay, no. You didn't hit anyone else. God, okay. But. I feel like she's going to go on a killing spree here. Alright, maybe that is why they feel like she's the ultimate value, because that is what they ate to stay alive. And they seem to be like, oh man. Why is this interference unit 
helping her. Um, I mean, he said, oh, you're in the, of the princess. But I wonder how she got in contact with it, you know? Because she did destroy the three interference units that were with the village in the beginning. So where did this one come from? Yeah, they're all like enamored. They're not gonna do anything. Because maybe not, we don't want to damage her value, so we're just gonna let her exterminate us. Wait, what? You are also? <coughs> Why are you dreaming about this? God damn it, I want I need to watch at least one more because this is did not like satisfy well it is a great episode but I feel like I'm 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 greedy I'm hunger for more you know I'm like these hollows seeing absolute value um Okay uh, but I'm I am confused. I'll just put it out there. Uh, is all of this just the plan of the prophet? Uh, even to the point where you know he was expecting her to not give up her body. Maybe, he, and he was seeing like all this year ahead that Fabita would do what she's doing, and. All that you gather, and there's a picture of Mehdi right here. Um, because, I mean, that's one thing when it is, you know, um, these characters I can see basically predict the future and all that. It becomes very hard to see, to be like, did everything happen? Because, like, according to plan, was everything set in stone? From the very beginning, was it fate? Like, were, were the things that happened in the show always going to happen no matter what? Um, I hope that's not the case. Um, I hope it's just so he's just someone he can see in the future, but the future can change, and then he has to figure out ways to maybe play around with that. To get like another premonition of something. <coughs> you know. Um, I'm just confused. <laughs> Alright. That is what I feel about this episode. I am. Absolutely confused. Um, I would say this is probably the most confusing episode to me. Um, when it comes to figure out. 
what is actually happening. Uh, because I felt the f- things that I felt were set up in the previous like three episodes. Kind of like. Not disappeared, but I have a hard time seeing where this is going to lead. Um, are they still going to give Bailef the piece of Faputa? Uh, because it seems like, yeah, Bailef's his absolute greed, the thing maybe that he values the most is eating, consuming, you know, uh, the children of Ijimaru, you know? And that's maybe that's why she said, like, oh, if you just gave it to him like that, I don't think he would make it because his guilt, I mean, he was the first one to sacrifice himself because of he felt all this guilt of consuming, you know, um her children and that was him trying to claw out or maybe something to do with his eyes that's maybe why they became mouths as well and yeah I, I don't know like I'm trying to think of something like could it be this could it be this but I just have nothing Pops up in my mind. Um, so I wonder. I'm just clicking around to see if there's anything that can help me. understand because I think the reason why they feel that she is like the ultimate value is because you know the them being alive even being alive and then basically worshipping Ijimaru and all that stuff not basically well I guess they ended up maybe worshipping her in a sense but it's all tied to them consuming her children, right? So I think, and as it, it seems like there was something with the consumption of it that made it, so it's like it's the ultimate thing, you know, which I think is the reason why he was like, Belaf, I cannot leave you behind because you are like so pure, you're like, you feel a certain way. From consuming them. Um, that grief and all that. And is that maybe why? Because it seems like, yeah, he, he took... Uh, Wakizaku took Vyoko. And said that... Because you're prone to grief. So... What is his plan right there? Because Vyoko is not a hollow, right? She hasn't become a hollow. And I think it was something like becoming a hollow has something to do with grief and something else, right? When you lose... No. What is the plan right there? Uh, Why? Is he going to... Make her watch as Ijirumaru dies, and that's gonna make her make a wish with the cradle of with one of these cradles, and that is kind of like what he plans. It isn't, he doesn't really want Rico. Like, Rico thought, like, ah, you want me to make a wish with them, blah blah blah. I don't think that's the case. I think he wants Vyoko to make a wish. Um, but I'm not sure. That's just what I'm predicting. <laughs>